So the geoarchaeologist not only has to understand the landforms as they're distributed in a landscape, but the geoarchaeologist also has to know what's inside the landforms. So we see layers like this, this white layers of volcanic ash. It can help us get an idea about the timing of when this deposit was laid down. It can also help us correlate this landform and its stratigraphy to other landforms up and down the canyon. So the principle of stratigraphy is an important part of geoarchaeology can be understood by looking at this profile from Cooper's Ferry. And in this, I've drawn some lines that represent subdivisions of deposits that are similar to each other and different from others. So in this case, we can see a gray sandy layer that's overlain by a darker one with artifacts poking out of it above and below. And stratigraphy ends up being one of the most important skills that the geoarchaeologist has. The study of stratigraphy allows us to order and subdivide the site in terms of the events that created the site through time. The natural and cultural factors that added and subtracted and modified sediments as they accumulate and create this archaeological record that archaeologists study at the site.